yeah, angles really does a lot, so that's also a really strong tool he has. And in addition to that, he also got the back air, which is really, really good to use because it, it's just really big. But yeah, here you see the down B I was talking about again, because it has so much range and it really pops, uh, fucks up at a nice angle. And here you also saw the up B, you know, like especially at high percents, that's just a kill move, which you just get out of nowhere, like basically. But oh well. DK also got some flaws, for example, he has a little trouble approaching because like back air is his basically his best move in neutral, I'd say. And obviously, as you see, he's got a really uh, exploitable re recovery, so every time he's kind of um, off stage, the chance he dies is really big. Especially against players who are really good. That's difficult, but oh well. What you also see, kind of, which is giving risk trouble, is that uh, Miroem really um, like picks his position and his spots. Like the timing to go in of him is so good, and because of that, um, risk gets a lot of damage before even being able to do a lot of things. But besides that, that like I'm saying all of these things, but risk getting some juicy damage. Oh, that's really nice. Loading that donkey punch up. Mirror, I'm hoping he does something weird out of shield. Like, obviously, you know, it could have been that Mirror was just, you know, like baiting the AB out of shield because he knows that when he's close, uh, the chance of DK doing that is pretty damn big. But Risk didn't, Risk just, like, uh, Risk just waited. Then again, like, not a chance. But oh well, during all this talk, Risk is doing a lot of work, but he lives! Mirror lives! How did he even survive that? Yeah, what's like kind of difficult about FOD is that obviously you got those side, um, like the screen is only in 4-3, so you can't really see the like the sides of the stage, which can um, like which can prevent you from uh, properly guessing how much um, recovery space Fox has left. So well. Yeah, kind of. What we've, oh damn. Yeah, what we've kind of been seeing so far is that both players really go hard at each other. But what like makes the difference now is that before uh, Risk gets many hits in. Oh shit! Yeah, what I wanted to say is that uh, before Risk like gets his major conversions, like Mirum often does a lot of damage with those like aerials and those lasers from a distance, which grant him like yeah a lot of extra percent. But despite that. You know, like it has been pretty even besides that in terms of uh, conversions. Yep, and now it's entirely doable. Last stock for both players, and DK only needs oh one conversion or one up out of shield. Although I think Mero might try to like bait that out. Oh, risk getting away with the air dodge might have been a accidental. Oh my God! Oh, risk got the biggest balls. Oh my god! Oh my god! He got the absolute biggest balls and goes for the sickest combo ever! Oh my god! That was so sick! Oh my god! What an absolute monster, yeah! And here I am saying before every like conversion of Risk, Merum always nets a little damage, but it doesn't even matter if Risk does like a 6 0 to death. Sick edge guard. Here you see again that down B coming into play, really good move, leads to many things. Oh, just slightly missing that move, but obviously, you know, the up B also hitting him. Yeah, the thing with the up B is that also got a like, deceivably like big hitbox. So even when you think it's um, not leading to that much, or when it's not gonna hit, when it's gonna whiff, it often still hits because it's surprisingly big, deceivingly big. Oh, Merum trying to catch him landing without a jump. But Risk actually jumps, lives. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's like something that's less good about DK is DK on the ledge because um, the main, yeah, like his main options are just the regular four options. Uh, especially his getup attack is pretty good. You see many DKs like Mo doing that a lot of the time. Although Mo is obviously switched off at the moment. Uh, you see characters like that doing that often. But you also got other characters like um, other uh, options like roll, jump. 
Well, that's kind of predictable, and that's uh, like a big drawback of uh, DK. But yeah, as you can see at the moment, like DK really got some things going for him, and you see, you know, he, although Mirum is like doing really well with the stock, it must be noted that DK actually is doing a lot of work. Like, for example, he's so heavy. See him still living. Oh, he almost lived as well. And DK is one of the heaviest characters in Melee. Like, I don't know exactly how heavy he is, but trust me, he is a heavy, heavy, heavy character. Oh, oh the attack! Oh, I tried to uh, grab him off of the attack, but Mirum knows better. Yeah, but oh well, like Mirum really exploiting DK. At the moment. Oh yeah, the, like there you see again, those four options, you know, make it really difficult for uh, DK to come back properly and his recovery, like as you see, is pretty damn exploitable. But that doesn't make it any less hype. I think DK is pretty damn crazy with us. <laughs> with us. I, I, I'm not calling it like, well, with those yeah, crazy moves, I guess. Always looks really flashy and really hype when he does some crazy stuff like down B, donkey punch. Ah, yeah, fuck. That's a shame. Ah, that's a shame for Riz. Meruem getting game two pretty damn convincingly. Risk really has to show something new to uh, to get him. Yeah, but Meruem also known for like kind of his um, I wouldn't call it campy, but kind of a runaway type of style to uh, bait his opponent to make a mistake and then you know punish those. And uh, I guess DK that's especially effective since DK has trouble approaching, so DK kind of has to guess what you do. And if you guess wrong, uh, as the if, if you uh, guess right at the, as the fox, you get a pretty damn big conversion. Because like, although DK is pretty heavy, it's also kind of a drawback because, or not heavy, but he falls pretty quickly and he's also really big. So characters like Fox can really combo him really hard. But that's kind of a uh, difficult thing in the matchup. Well, I also like kind of things like uh, juggling are also really good. As you see again, Mirum just, yeah, waiting his mistakes out, like after the down B, just going in. But oh well, risk with a conversion, and obviously this is what he's so good at. Oh damn, but Mirum getting away and not getting hit by the up B, that's really big for Mirum, because that could have hit him off stage. Because like the up B is such a strong move, although it's kind of is uh, like abstract when you think of that first, because like how big is the up B, you know? Kind of looks uh, bigger. Uh, it is bigger than it looks. So yeah, whenever you not get, don't get hit, it's kind of a big thing. Oh so well. Oh yeah. Damn. Here we go again with the cargo throw combos. Oh yeah. Whenever you don't like, yeah, the uh, drawback in the matchup as well is that your opponent can just edge guard you so much easier than you. That's just a general, yeah, thing with DK. Although he gets it this time, really nice. Uh, it's kind of uh, difficult to um, yeah, edge guard people as DK, while well, it's much easier to um, get edge guarded. So well, risk still kind of managing. So Mira, oh, he tried to get the read, but here we go again with oh, Risk almost getting the conversion. Ah, yeah, the donkey punch. Yeah, like at some point you have to use it, you know, best move in the game, or not in the game, but by far DK's best move, little lag. You know, whenever you like miss it, you get a lot of things from it. Oh, auto cancel back air. Yeah, also, something really nice about DK is they got this. Um, this back air, which auto cancels, so whenever you get a hit, you can often convert it into something like a grab or another hit, which is really nice. Oh, Riz going for a crazy edge guard, but Mero with an amazing angle and still living. Wow. Although he probably doesn't know the matchup that well, although like I might be wrong on that, uh, he certainly knows the angle Seeker has to take. Uh, trying to poke DK shield, not working. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, whenever that charged donkey punch hits, you just get 30 damage. Oh, and Mirum getting beaten at his own game! But he lives, he lives! 
Oh damn, yeah, it's really like must be noted that um, that it's pretty damn Excuse me, I'm kind of getting lost in like the match. Oh, the edge card converting and this the last duck situation. Yeah. Oh yeah, like my point was that, like uh, something that Mirum tried to go for this um, for often like this set is that he tried to get his um, like, he tried to poke his shield because DK a like, big drawback of him is that he um, got a shield that which is very like small and. Because of that small shield, he can often get shield power. But enough of that, we got a last stock situation. Risk versus Meruem. Oh my god. Oh, he does the regular getter, but he lives. Risk with the conversion. This might be it. Unless he does a really nice angle. Oh, we got him. Risk being just a little too early. And he lives, and that's it. That's it. Risk the DK wins against Meruem, the German Fel Falco. Fox. My god.